Tiana here, welcome back to my channel and if you're new, stick around. Today I'm going to be sharing with you what is in baby's hospital bag. I'm currently 38 weeks pregnant with my second baby. Uh, we are expecting a little girl. Uh, for reference, I'm in Australia. Uh, I am delivering at a private hospital and we're currently still in pandemic here. So um, just for reference, uh, the hospital do provide a lot of things like nappies, wipes, soap. So I don't have to pack a lot of that. Uh, chances are I may have a second cesarean. So um, I have packed enough for four to five nights. That's how long me and baby will be staying in hospital. Uh, so I'll just jump in and share with you what I've packed in my hospital bag. For the hospital bag, I've just used uh, our new baby nappy bag. Uh, this is the Milk and Poppy backpack style. I absolutely love it. I searched really high and low to find a bag and from my Instagram, I know you guys want a review, so I will do that very soon. Uh, but today I'm just gonna jump in and share with you what I've packed for her. Um, so there isn't too much. I think I've kept it pretty low key but we'll see <laughs> um so firstly i've packed a couple of different swaddles um these are really handy to have in the hospital um so we are summer here in australia so she is a summer baby but the hospitals you know are air and stuff so it's really good to have some swaddles so i've actually got this one here it's one of the muslin type swaddles uh this one is from seed um I have one of the Aiden and Ionias ones. I love these with my son. It's like all we used. Um, they're really, really large and really good to keep baby nice and tight. Um, so I've packed one of those and I've packed a different style one. It's a bit more summery. This one is from Vixa um, and it's like a bamboo. It's like really stretchy. It's really soft, um, like buttery fabric. So I've packed that one as well. And then I've just packed a little like cotton Blanket, I know the hospital probably have them, but this one's just got a little rainbow on it. Um, so yeah, I've packed that as well. So they're all the blankets I've packed, and then I've packed all her clothes just in this little bag here. So I don't think I've packed too many, but again, we are going to be in there for four or five nights. So I've packed this little beanie. Uh, inside, I've just popped in some of the plain white under singlets. Uh, I've done the one without buttons or snaps just because in hospital I feel like it's easier with the little umbilical stump to do that. And then I've also popped in a couple of mittens. Um, my son didn't wear them, but I just thought I'd have them. So I've popped all that in the little beanie. I have packed a couple of little summer legless ones. I actually don't know if I'll use these in the hospital, but I thought I would pack them just in case. And then I've got a couple of onesies, um, which is kind of all we use when they're no newborns anyway. Um, but this one is a Bonds one. They've got the flip over mittens and feet. Um, so I've got a purple one. I've got um, a classic pink and white striped one and then I've also got one from Ergo Pouch um, these are all in newborn size uh, I do have a special little onesie with her name on it so you can't see it just yet but I thought that would be really cute for uh, to announce her name to everyone when she's here uh, we've also packed this uh, little cute onesie with rainbows on it. She is our rainbow baby. Um, so we don't really do like coming home outfits or like with us it was just whatever my son was wearing that day but I thought that would be really cute to pop her in maybe to come home. Uh, and then I did pack one sleep sack. My son used these a lot and really loved them. Um, but yeah I wasn't in hospital. It was after a couple of months so I'm not sure if I'll need it or use it but I thought I would just pack it. It didn't take up a lot of room. So I've put that in and that's all for clothes. Then I have a couple of little things. One is her name plaque and her little teddy. I took my son's little teddy to the hospital as well. So it's not really to have. I think it's just nice to have something for them there. 
and also makes a cute photo so i've got that and her name sign in there all ready to go for photos I did pack a packet of water wipes as i said my hospital do provide wipes but these are just really good to have my son had really bad eczema so um, i wanted to get something more natural but also they're just good for like if i need them any little vomit spills to wipe down tables anything like that i just thought it'd be handy to have them i'm not sure if i'll use them but they are there in case i need them i will also be taking in a breastfeeding pillow um as i said i most likely will be having a c-section and holding a pillow against my incision when like coughing or sneezing or getting up really helped and they're really good for feeding as well so I have packed this. It's similar to like the Boppy. There's heaps of different styles. I got this from Adairs. Actually, they have a heap of cute covers. Um, so I've washed this all ready to go. So that will be coming with me as well. And I've packed a couple of little toiletry type things. This is one of the burp cloths. Um, so I think these are really handy to have in hospital. The hospital will have some plain like terry towelling ones. I just found these really good um, for feeding and didn't have to like buzz to ask to get something if the baby spewed so i've brought one of those uh, and then i've bought yeah like a couple of toiletries um these are called little eyes they're little eye wipes to get out like gunky stuff they were just really handy to have especially on the go so you didn't need to get like cotton balls and water which is kind of what they use in hospital but these are just little wipes that you can wipe out their eyes some babies have really gunky eyes after birth and my son did i've also packed in here just a bottom balm and a nipple balm for me these are by willow by the sea um so i've packed those and i did bring a dummy um my son used a dummy but it certainly wasn't hospital is in the hospital it was after a couple of weeks so i'm not sure if we'll need it or use it but i thought i'd rather have it than not um the hospital restrictions are still kind of funny so like no one can come and go and grab things so um yeah i thought that would be easier just to pack it and then i've also just packed a couple of nappies for like in the car on the way home or just just in case we need it i've packed two nappies as well um and that's it that's all i've packed so let me go let me know if you think i've missed something or um something that you loved having for your baby in hospital um thank you guys so much for watching i hope you love it stay tuned for the backpack review or um reveal i will do a more in-depth video on that soon um but thank you guys for watching have a great day and i'll see you in my next video bye